Welcome to the second part of decision making under uncertainty under quantitative methods for business series. In this video, we'll continue what we started in the first one, and we're going to look at the minimax regret method. Just to remind you of the problem we have in hand, which is Bob White's shop, considering to either expand, move, or do nothing. He has three states of nature. Good market, average market, and poor market. We looked in the first video at the first four methods. In this video, we're going to look at the minimax of regret criteria, which requires the use of what we call the opportunity loss table. So these are the results from the first video, where we have the max, the min, average, and the criteria of realism, which takes the maximum times alpha, 1 minus alpha times the minimum. And we looked at setting up the if statement to let Excel decide which is the best method for us by selecting if each one of these cells equal the maximum, then display best. If not, don't display anything. And this way, if we change values of the payoff table or alpha, the spreadsheet will give us the right answer right away. Now we're going to look at the minimax regret method. This method uses the opportunity loss table, not the payoff table. The opportunity loss table is formed from the payoff table. And the idea behind it is we're going to find the maximum value in each state of nature. So in the first column, the maximum value is 70. And we're going to subtract 70 minus 56, 70 minus 70, and 70 minus 32. Same idea here. Find the maximum, subtract all payoffs in the state of nature for average from that maximum, and the same for the poor market. But of course, we're going to let Excel do that for us. So we're going to start by saying find the max of these three, press F4 to make them absolute reference, as we discussed in the first video, then subtract from that this cell. And we know that 70 minus 56 is 14. I'm going to copy that. Paste it over here as a formula, and I have the other two results. Now, how do I know the formula is working? The cell that has the highest value and the payoff should have zero value in the opportunity loss table. We're going to repeat the same procedure here. I'm going to take the max of this value here in the column for average, press a 4, and subtract from it the cell for expand. We're going to copy it and paste the formula. And we see that 35 is the highest, that's why here it's 0. 35 minus 10 is 25, 35 minus 21 is 14. Same, max, poor market, F4, and we're going to subtract this cell. Press enter, and we get 34,000. Copy. Let's paste it here. And we have the answer. So the maximum is 5,000. That's why it's 0 here. 5,000 minus minus 45 gives me 50, and minus minus 29 gives me 34. Now, this method is called the minimax regret. So we're going to minimize the maximum. In the other methods, we found maximum, minimum, average, or criteria of realism. Then we picked the maximum of these choices. Here, we're going to find the maximum 
of each alternative then we're going to copy it copy the formula so this is the maximum of each alternative the difference now between this and the other four methods that we did in the first video is instead of choosing the max because we're maximizing here we're going to choose the min because we're minimizing the maximum that's why it's called the minimax regret so we're going to use the same if statement that we use in the first video and it requires the logical test value if it's true value if it's false the logical test that I want is if this cell here is the minimum of these three cells not the maximum as we did with the other four methods press a 4 to make the absolute reference so if that's the case display best if not don't display anything I'm gonna copy and paste the cells over here so the minimax criteria the choice is to expand why because it picks the minimum value of all these maximum so looking back at the four methods you see that each method does, gives me different criteria based on if it's aggressive conservative so on some they give me the same method or the same alternatives other method gives me different alternative now one more thing I want to show you how do we get these to display best in red based on the if statement so how do we make this best with different color or if it's red for that we're gonna look at conditional formatting and I'm going to show you how to do it as a new rule so I'm looking at if the value is best I want to change the format so I'm going to look at format only cells that contain contain what not between I'm not looking for a range of value I'm looking for one value which is best so only cell that contains the value best formatted I'm going to choose the font to be red and the fill to be blue you can change the border you can add border to it or you can choose different style different fonts and so on once you press OK you will have what I have over here but of course we have to do it for all these cells or you can do it for the whole column by selecting the column first then inserting the new rule so repeat that conditional formatting new rule only cells that contain equal to equal to best then you click on format and you can format the cell or the output the way you want so this takes care of the decision making under uncertainty look for more videos look at video for decision making under risk where we use the EMV and the EOL method as well as other videos and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come